today we're going to talk about pregnancy. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using. Friday I'll be nine months pregnant. I was there. I can't wait. <laughs> it's been long and I can't wait to meet this little girl. I'm so excited. Definitely when I started to learn about pregnancy, I found out that we're using so many products that are toxic for us and, and a fetus can absorb all of these things so we have to be very aware of what we're using so my goal was to find products that were very clean which I did but it took me a while even from the soap I'm using under the shower or the shampoo I'm using to the face cream make sure there's no retinol in my creams things like this essential oils avoid as much as you can like avoid like that's my advice, just avoid it. But I'll show you one product I use that is totally safe for third trimester. And that makes me feel good. When you take care of yourself in the morning, when you do your beauty routine, try to make this a moment where you cherish yourself. And you get dressed, you feel like you're gonna feel great. Then you put some makeup on, you're like, oh my God, I look amazing. And you put some cream on and you send some love to yourself. The idea is that you just, just don't do these routine things mechanically because that's this one little moment you can give love to yourself and that's gonna make you feel better anyway. So when you're pregnant, to me, I felt like it was even more. Like I <laughs> needed even more this moment. I'm not sure I would say that I enjoy pregnancy really. First trimester for me was quite hard because I was really sick and tired all the time. I felt like I was on a boat being seasick and I was like, is that real? Is that unreal? Is that a dream? It's not a dream. I was, I was in a fog. That's what I wanted to say. I was really in the fog for four months and I had crazy food aversions. So I could only eat carbs. And what happened is that I lost chunks of hair, chunks, chunks of hair. So right now I have, for me, I feel like I have half my hair. I'm pretty sure I only lost 30%, but I really felt like I lost half my hair. And I started to have a lot of rash on my skin. And I'll post some pictures so you can see, even though the iPhone kind of filter, the new iPhone kind of filter the skin, and I still need to figure out how you remove this filter. But I really had those red dots everywhere, and it was super itchy. So my take on it was to put no makeup on, even though I really, really wanted to hide it. Of course it was itching so much that I was like be strong don't hide it this is your body expressing itself I can't eat properly I'm losing all my hair I have rashes on my skin I mean I felt really great <laughs> this first trimester and you know you cannot tell anyone that you're pregnant people didn't really understand I was so sleepy so tired and stuff so I couldn't really talk or complain about it so it was kind of a tough moment I mean tough it's relative but for my skin I did a few things that actually helped but one thing I would say is that there's no miracle cures. The miracle one was to take supplement. I'm not gonna show you the supplements I'm taking because I asked my naturopaths in Paris to tell me which one to get. Like I really seek for professional advices for this. But food, as soon as I was able to eat normally, then my hair stopped falling, my skin started to be better. So people told me like second trimester is gonna feel amazing. To be honest, I think that was the one that I was less into because first one I was so sick anyway, I felt like, and also I was so excited because I found out I was pregnant. It was hard, but I was okay. Second was more difficult because I started to have my bump and I started to have all the other changes in my body. Like my breasts started to get much bigger. I started to do water retention, like even though my skin my hair got better some other stuff came into my life like this like bloated feeling and I couldn't dress and it was winter I was struggling and I think with the hormones I didn't really enjoy that much and then I got really sick for a month I got a bronchitis that didn't want to be cured so it was not my favorite third trimester though is my favorite I'm used to my body I know it's not gonna last forever I don't have this idea of the unknown oh my god how much weight I'm gonna gain uh, I know that now I'm almost done so it's fine I must say now I really enjoy and I know she's safe and I think for second trimester I was also really worried and for the first as well that even you know something will go wrong or anything it was very hard for me to get pregnant so it was a little bit of a miracle and um, all this put a lot of pressure third trimester i know things are great i'm almost done so that is the best trimester i experienced so to go to products to go back to the first trimester when i had all this rash on my skin i stopped wearing products like makeup on my skin i use basically 
very little amount of product. To clean my face, I use milk remover. I use the one from Biologique Recherche. Honestly, guys, like whatever is clean and gentle, as long as it's a milk, I really recommend. You don't have to use this specific brand. I'm just very familiar with the ingredients they use, so I feel safe with it. But a milk, because it's very, very gentle. I don't use a cotton pad. So what I do is I pour a bit of milk remover in my hand and I'm gonna massage even my eyes, everything for a good three minutes. Sometimes I have to take even some more to keep cleaning and then I rinse off a lot. People are scared of water, but you have to know that when babies are born, their skin is like a sponge. If water was bad for them, we will never rinse them off as soon as they get out of the womb. So it's safe for you to use water on your skin. It's very important to rinse off. Make your skin very clean is very important. So after massaging with a milk remover, I, I rinse off like a crazy person until it's totally clean and I have no residue on my skin. The other product I use, which is a French product, but I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon, is this lotion that is soothing. And that's because to me, my rash was an extra sensitivity of my skin. So I wanted something to soothe what I just did and to really calm my skin. So with a cotton pad, I will like, you know, pad gently on my skin as much as I can to really calm my skin. So basically after I will use this cream, this is also a French cream, which really help with the uh, redness for rash and everything like this. I'm gonna put in my caption equivalents for the US for you guys because I didn't look for one because I had this one. I bought so many because it's very cold in New York during the winter. I'm just gonna use it as well. So I had like a bunch at home and I put this on right when I started to have the rash and it really helped my skin to feel so much better. So basically every day, morning and night, I will use these three products on my face and that's it as soon as i started to get better so second trimester i changed a little bit my routine so i still kept doing these two steps but i changed the cream i went back to my advanced night repair i started to feel starting winter that my skin became so dry i never experienced such dryness so i'm pretty sure it's pregnancy as well and i needed a little bit more boost for my skin so i went back to my advanced night repair that's just the packaging of their collaboration but that's exactly the same formula as your classic and best night repair that I use as my serum after the lotion and then I will use this cream from Biologique Recherche very moisturizing safe to use during pregnancy the texture is super nice because it's not too thick it's not gonna close my pores it's just gonna be like very very smooth so when I massage it like I could feel like my skin was like mm, <laughs> like eating it and that really helped my skin to be much better the texture the look overall this duo was perfect for it so basically starting second trimester this is the routine I started to do first milk remover then the lotion then the serum and then the cream four steps for the body now deodorant I started to use this one that is an organic one it works really well don't put anything like you don't know in the familiar all these like big brands okay so I have a few products for body overall I use this cream everywhere on my body. It's a bit thick and a bit heavy to apply, like you have to really massage it for a little bit of a while to make sure it really absorbs. I must say that my skin, like I told you guys, was so dry that I really needed something persistent. <laughs> I had absolutely no stretch mark. I know it doesn't depend on the cream as well. Like it's not just a lotion you're applying, it's also just your skin texture. So if some of you moms have stretch marks, it's not because you're doing a bad job applying cream when you're not using the right cream. There's no study that really shows that it's actually helping. I just feel like it was super dry, it was a hard winter, and my skin definitely, if I didn't put like a lot of moisturizing and a lot of lotion, the overall texture of my skin would have been quite bad. So this this was really helpful. On my bedside table, I had this guy. It's a French version, but you can find it here as well. Because you need to massage your bump a lot to avoid stretch marks again, but also you're gonna feel at some point, I think it was second trimester, it was super itchy, so I was scratching my bump all the time. And also, it's just a moment I felt like you take with your baby to just be in bed, relax after day at work, and just massage your bump and like think of your baby. And that was a very good moment. So on my bedside table, 
people had this my girlfriends used it and that's actually really helpful I don't know if there is a combination of one product that really helped me having no stretch mark but I'm showing you everything so you can try and see what fits but I really suggest that you guys have one cream for your bump on your bedside table so basically after my shower that I take as soon as I get back to work I will put this cream on and then later before going to bed I will put this one on my bum. The other products I really like that I use this guy more in the fall for my first trimester and right now because it's getting warmer and we are in April. Yeah, I know some people feel like when their skin is really dry they should use oil. I have the opposite feeling. I feel like if I use oil my skin is going to feel more dry so I need to use lotion. I use this one actually it's less dry out and less cold. I really like it also the smell is quite amazing. Third trimester I started to be a bit more fancy. <laughs> And I started to use this a balm from Infiore that is safe once you reach third trimester. The scent is amazing. It's just again part of feeling great. So I'm not using it every day, but like I'm gonna take a bath or I feel a bit stressed and I'm gonna put it on my chest. And I don't know the smell because everything that Infiore does is very aromatherapy, you say. So it's gonna help you also feel better. So that's more like of a cocoon product that I use when I need comfort. Then a little trick. I went for my baby moon in the Bahamas and I got attacked by sand flies so my legs were eaten by those insects and it was in January we're in April I still have the scars from it because I couldn't help myself to scratch like a crazy person so one thing is that I put is coconut oil on my legs because I wounded myself by scratching like crazy and coconut oil has an antimicrobial so that's gonna prevent from any infection because when you're pregnant that's one thing you don't want is like having any infections so that's super helpful if you scratch yourself or like me you go down your baby moon because a lot of pregnant women go to the Bahamas and that happened to you as well just do this I did it a bit too late I would suggest you do it as soon as you can because that's really gonna help your scars for hair there is two kind of shampoos I use I think I posted this video in November actually in December I can't remember when I posted my Biorgio video but like I told you it was very honest I tried their products in my first trimester that's why I did a lot of research because I wanted to make sure it was safe and I found out that it was super safe for pregnant women so one thing I was super excited about is that because all my skin was dry my scalp was super dry as well so being pregnant I was a bit worried that I couldn't use too much scrub or because they have essential oil or things that are too strong and this guy is actually totally safe I showed you in my videos and I'll put it in my caption so you can watch the video again I use this as a shampoo and I massage with the shampoo on with this brush and it was amazing how it helped my hair to look much more healthy but also make my scalp like all the dead skin to be gone and then I would use this mask to help have more shinier hair one thing that I kept complaining about on my social media is I lost my curls during pregnancy it came back after I started to eat better again the nutrients but that was not heavy that was not pulling my hair too down so that was a great product for me to use right now I'm using this one from Avida I just love the scent it's super light very clean products I'm super into this duo right now and then to finish I'm gonna use a bit of Avida oil also on the length of my hair I don't put any products no hairspray no nothing I'm just giving a little bit of a moisturizing basically for my hair and last product I want to show you guys is a soap I'm using under the shower. This brand is great because it's clean. You can use this, it's totally safe. So with all these products, I know that what I'm using is clean. There's no risk. I'm not giving my baby anything bad. And also they make me feel better. So it's a little bit of a few products. I wanted to show you a bit of diversity. I'm not using them all every day, but I wanted you to pick and choose depending on your budget, depending on if you prefer lotion, if you prefer oil. Oil, you know you just pick and choose from what you want but the advice I would give you is less product is better because I think your skin has definitely less strength to deal with more formulas because your whole organism is busy doing something else <laughs> So less products and focus on clean. Don't go necessarily organic because a lot of organic products contain a lot of essential oils. So just focus on clean. Try to have shampoo, soap that are clean, moisturize your body as much as your skin to avoid any stretch marks. But again, if you have some, it's just the nature of the skin. It's not necessarily doing something bad. And 
For makeup, I didn't have any problem. I could use every product I usually use. So for this, I'm not even doing a video about it because it's totally fine to me at least to use anything. The one thing I would say if you have rash like me, try if you can to let your skin breathe and have no makeup on as much, much as you can. If you guys have problem with your hair loss or skin issue first trimester, no, it's gonna pass. It's gonna be better. And yeah, it's definitely a challenge to be pregnant, but it's very interesting because all these little challenges where educational for me to start you know let go of myself not be too self-aware and be like yeah well I'm kind of giving my body for a good cause I don't want to say it's a sacrifice but kind of you know what I mean it's it's part of being a mom I think it's the first step of being a mom is uh, pregnancy for a good reason I was lucky I had a very easy pregnancy one thing that really helped me is to work out a lot I found a lot of um, freedom because sometimes I felt a bit stuck you know couldn't move properly couldn't do everything I wanted going back to work out I did like four or five sessions a week which it's really not my routine usually. <laughs> Actually it made me feel so much better. Right now, nine months pregnant. I don't have back pain. I can move pretty well. Yeah, overall it made me feel really much better. That's it, you guys. I'm trying to think if there is something else, but I think that's it. If you have any question, ask me. I'm not a doctor, so that's why I'm not telling you for the supplement. I'm not gonna be able to advise you on all these things, but I wanted to show you what I use in case it can inspire you. I will put all the products name in the caption and I will also put equivalent for example for products you cannot find in America or also products that are a bit more expensive I'll put equivalent that fits you voila that's it thank you I wonder if this is gonna be I oh know that's not gonna be my last video pregnant I'm shooting a bunch of videos before I take off work that's why you're gonna see video of me pregnant until June <laughs> and I always be no pregnant at that stage but it's fun to create this content uh, being pregnant puts me in a different mood interesting to see the tutorials I'm, I'm gonna do pregnant as well thank you so much guys and